brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. American history comes to life on the banks of the Upper Missouri River in western Montana, where the famed Lewis and Clark expedition made a stop at what one day became the town of Fort Benton. Fort Benton is the birthplace of Montana. Betty Cook knows her history. She works at the Montana Museum of Agriculture, an amazing place that provides visitors a trip through time and an educational tribute to America's farming past. Because of the history we have in Fort Benton, and it is like the creation of walking through time, from the river through the history of the fur trade era, right on into the homesteading eras. Just generally, it walks you through life, from the time that they first started plowing, to the big power hall where all of the big steam tractors are, and the, all the things that had changed through life and it just like walking through how it all just went about. No doubt the museum features a wealth of farming history, including some landmark classic tractors. But maybe none has been gaining more fame than this bright shiny beauty, a very special International Harvester 1066. That's the five millionth tractor produced by International Harvester, McCormick Daring first, an International Harvester. It was the first company to produce that many tractors. The tractor was taken off the assembly line on February 1st, 1974. Jazzed up a little with some chrome, made it look pretty sharp. A special paint job and extra chrome on the exhaust and wheels helped dress up the five millionth tractor built by IH. Betty Cook's husband, Dennis, is a Montana wheat farmer who volunteered for the job of being our classic tractor fever stunt driver for this one in five million tractor. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> I can't believe that I got to drive it. Yep. The 1066 was built in the Farmall plant at Rock Island, Illinois. Dennis says it had lots of features farmers appreciated, including a roomy, comfortable cab with AM FM radio and an eight track tape player. Oh, this is a lovely tractor. It's still a nice tractor. It's got the uh, TAA where you can shift gears on the go. Get, if you need more power, you can pull it back down into the lower gear and get on the go. Just a lovely tractor. It's, <laughs> it'd still be a nice tractor to farm with. Uh, it's got plenty of power for what it's needed for. It's got all kinds of power. It's got the turbo on it, so it gives it a little extra pop. IH priced the model 1066 tractors at about $21,000 new back in 1974. With a 414 cubic inch diesel engine, the 1066 could handle all kinds of farm jobs. Dennis put the five millionth tractor through its paces on the vintage 1920s Main Street of the Montana Museum. So he got lots of opportunity to make use of the tractor's easy turning ability. It's a good steering tractor. It can turn on a dime. And you can hay with it. You can feel, cultivate your fields with it. It's, it's a versatile tractor. A lot of them have loaders on them. Everything's just right, pretty well right in the tractor. So how is it that this five millionth IH tractor is now a prized part of the museum's collection in Montana? IH toured this machine to state fairs and farm shows around the country for two years and then put it up for auction to its dealers. It was uh, 13 dealers from Montana got together and purchased the machine. At the Great Falls uh, Regional Meeting, uh, each one of them got a key to the tractor at that time. After sharing the five millionth tractor as a promotional tool for more than 20 years, the remaining dealers decided it was time to retire this rare beauty to a good home where it could be preserved forever. These uh, dealers decided that they should do something with it and they decided to put it at the new Montana Agriculture Museum in Fort Benton. 
Each year, more than 6,000 visitors come through the museums at Fort Benton, and these days, many have it in mind that they want to see this very special 1066. It brings people into town. So some of them just come to look at this tractor once they know it's here. Yeah. I recall one man who came, had searched and searched for it, was not able to find it, and finally did, and he came here from a long way to see this tractor. Some are toy collectors, some know the history, some are farmers. Ever since I've been here, it is just like every year, it seems like there's a little more and more all the time. If you'd like to get a closer look at this special 5 millionth IH tractor, you can find out more at the website fortbenton.com forward slash museums. And it's well worth a trip because clearly this is a place where a passion for preserving the legacy of American agriculture lives strong. The farming equipment that we have, just like the 5 millionth, shows you from the very beginning what it was all about and how it matured into the equipment that we have today. It's just like part of history. It's just like something that we don't want to lose. And it's part of the time and showing what it is that we do with agriculture.